Now we are done with the preparation with our circuit diagram. And now we can finally head over to the 3D layout space to do some wiring over here. First thing, control A and hide the whole thing. Then double click on the door and add a mounting panel, show selection. So this is where our wiring happens on the back plate and on the door. This is a mystery for some people, how to wire things on the door. That's why I'm creating this course for you to help you to demystify this story. The first thing we should do is to create a routing path network. To do that, you have a couple of functions. You can do that automatically and manually. In the real life, in the practice, you use both of them. So let me show you. These cable ducts. So ePlan as a program knows that you're gonna really, in reality, place some wires inside. So this function, generate routing path network, generates automatically where it can. So let's see the effect. You can find it also under connections. Over here, the same function. If you wanna show this toolbar, you would go to row panel routing. So now let's hit on this function and let's see what happens. Now we generated and let's see where exactly. This is the next function, routing path view. So currently everything that is in the color yellow is our routing path network. So in this case only the wire ducts over there on the back plate. We still don't have any routing path network on the door. So that's something we need to do manually. And we're gonna do that in the next video.